Do you feel like you don't speak enough Finnish? That you need to know more words? Then stick around. With these lessons, you'll pick up some of the most common words in just a few minutes. Now, this video is a small portion of our learning program. To get the full lessons, translations, and fluency fast study tools, click the link in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the cooking conversation cheat sheet. Learn all the must know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, our brand new visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll learn over 1,500. Just download and print them out. Third, can you talk about your favorite shows? Learn how to say no spoilers. What are you watching right now? And other useful words and phrases for video on demand. Fourth, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say, read more, save money, learn a language, and other common goals. Fifth, must know words and phrases for the new year. If you're learning the language and can't yet talk about the new year, then access this one minute vocabulary lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the innovative 101 app, you'll learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just three to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 55% off 24 month premium with our extended holiday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Banani. Banana. Banani. Banani. Banana. Tuo kaupasta muutama banaani. Bring a few bananas from the store. Tuo kaupasta muutama banaani. Omena. Apple. Omena. Omena. Apple. Minulla on yksi omena. I have one apple. Minulla on yksi omena. Viini rypäle. Grape. Viini rypäle. Viini rypäle. Grape. Hiiri syö viinirypälettä. The mouse is eating a grape. Hiiri syö viinirypälettä. Vesimeloni. Watermelon. Vesimeloni. Vesimeloni. Watermelon. Lepakot roikkuvat oksasta syöden vesimelonia. The bats are hanging from a branch eating watermelon. Lepakot roikkuvat oksasta syöden vesimelonia. Lintu. Bird. Lintu. Lintu. Bird. Lintu kertoi minulle salaisuuden. A bird told me a secret. Lintu kertoi minulle salaisuuden. Hiiri. Maus. Hiiri. 
Hiri. Maus. Hiri syö viinirypälettä. The mouse is eating a grape. Hiiri syö viini rypälettä. Aurinko. Sun. Aurinko. Aurinko. Sun. Aurinko piristää minua. The sun cheers me up. Aurinko piristää minua. Sää. Weather. Sää. Sää. Weather. Eilen oli hyvä sää. The weather was nice yesterday. Eilen oli hyvä sää. Aste. Degree. Aste. Aste. Degree. Ulkona on tuskin yksi aste lämmintä. It is barely one degree outside. Ulkona on tuskin yksi aste lämmintä. Nainen. Woman. Nainen. Nainen. Woman. Nainen harjaa hampaitaan. The woman brushes her teeth. Nainen harjaa hampaitaan. Mies. Man. Mies. Mies. Man. Mies kokeili pukua. The man tried on the suit. Mies kokeili pukua. Tyttöystävä. Girlfriend. Tyttöystävä. Tyttöystävä. Girlfriend. Tyttöystäväni on täällä pian. My girlfriend will be here soon. Tyttöystäväni on täällä pian. Poikaystävä. Boyfriend. Poikaystävä. Poikaystävä. Boyfriend. Inhoa mennä ostoksille poikaystäväni kanssa. Hän on niin nirso. I hate to go shopping with my boyfriend. He is so picky. Inhoan mennä ostoksille poikaystäväni kanssa. Hän on niin nirso. Juna. Train. Juna. Juna. Train. Juna on peruttu. The train's been cancelled. Juna on peruttu. Lentokone. Airplane. Lentokone. Lentokone. 
airplane. Matkustajat lentävät lentokoneella. The passengers fly on the airplane. Matkustajat lentävät lentokoneella. Bussi. Bus. Bussi. Bussi. Bus. Ehditkö bussiin? Did you make it to the bus? Ehditkö bussiin? Taksi. 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 Voin mennä taksilla. I can go by taxi. Voin mennä taksilla. Pinaatti. Spinach. Pinaatti. Pinaatti. Spinach. Pinaatti on runsas raudan ja kalsiumin lähde. Spinach is a rich source of iron and calcium. Pinaatti on runsas raudan ja kalsiumin lähde. Delfiini. Dolphin. Delfiini. Delfiini. Dolphin. Delfiini ui valtameressä. The dolphin is swimming in the ocean. Delfiini ui valtameressä. Kalmari. Squid. Kalmari. Kalmari. Squid. Kalmari ui koralliriutan lähellä. The squid is swimming near the coral reef. Kalmari ui koralliriutan lähellä. Koira. Dog. Koira. Koira. Dog. Janoinen koira juo uima-altaasta. The thirsty dog is drinking from the pool. Janoinen koira juo uima-altaasta. Kissa. Cat. Kissa. Kissa. Cat. Kissani loukkasi häntänsä. My cat hurt her tail. Kissani loukkasi häntänsä. Hamsteri. Hamster. Hamsteri. Hamsteri. Hamster. Hamsterit tykkäävät nukkua päivällä. Hamsters like to sleep during the day. Hamsterit tykkäävät nukkua päivällä. Lämmin. Warm. Lämmin. Lämmin. Warm. Onko tämä takki lämmin? Is this coat warm? Onko tämä takki lämmin? Sade. 
rain sade sa de rain sade alkaa aamulla the rain will start in the morning sade alkaa aamulla tomaatti tomato tomaatti tomaatti tomato tomaateista voi tehdä monenlaisia ruokia you can make many kinds of food from tomatoes tomaateista voi tehdä monenlaisia ruokia mansikka strawberry mansikka mansikka strawberry olen allerginen mansikoille i'm allergic to strawberries olen allerginen mansikoille. Kirsikka. Cherry. Kirsikka. Kirsikka. Cherry. Haluan syödä kirsikoita. I want to eat cherries. Haluan syödä kirsikoita lapsi child lapsi lapsi child lapsi oli hyvin älykäs ja ymmärsi käsitteitä paljon aiemmin kuin muut lapset The child was extremely intelligent, understanding concepts years ahead of other children. Lapsi oli hyvin älykäs ja ymmärsi käsitteitä paljon aiemmin kuin muut lapset. Friendi. Friend. Friendi. Friendi. Friend. Hei, kutsutaanko pari friendia kylään viikonloppuna? Hei, shall we invite a couple of friends for a visit over the weekend? Hei, kutsutaanko pari friendia kylään viikonloppuna? Aikuinen. Adult. Aikuinen. Aikuinen. Adult. Yksi aikuisten lippu, kiitos. One adult ticket, please. Yksi aikuisten lippu, kiitos. Polkupyörä. Bicycle. Polkupyörä. Polkupyörä. Bicycle. Polkupyöräni on vanha. My bicycle is old. Polkupyöräni on vanha. Auto. Car. Auto. Auto. Car. Haluan ostaa uuden auton. I want to buy a new car. Haluan ostaa uuden auton. 
Moottoripyörä. Motorcycle. Moottoripyörä. Moottoripyörä. Motorcycle. En osaa ajaa moottoripyörää. I can't drive a motorcycle. En osaa ajaa moottoripyörää. Skootteri. Scooter. Skootteri. Skootteri. Scooter. Joku varasti skootterin. Someone stole the scooter. Joku varasti skootterin. Vene. Boat. Vene. Vene. Boat. Vene veti rikkinäistä proomua perässään. The boat tugged the broken down barge along behind it. Vene veti rikkinäistä proomua perässään. Medusa. Jellyfish. Medusa. Medusa. Jellyfish. Medusat heiluvat vedessä. The jellyfish are bobbing in the water. Medusat heiluvat vedessä. Hummeri. Lobster. Hummeri. Hummeri. Lobster. Hummeri on kivellä. The lobster is on the rock. Hummeri on kivellä. Rapu. Crab. Rapu. Rapu. Crab. Kaksi rapua kävelee kalliolla. The two crabs are walking on a rock. Kaksi rapua kävelee kalliolla. Kilpikonna. Turtle. Kilpikonna. Kilpikonna. Turtle. Merikilpikonna ui meressä. The sea turtle is swimming in the sea. Merikilpikonna ui meressä. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to get back on track after language learning failure. If you've ever made language learning a goal, you've also likely experienced failure. Maybe you quit studying for some time. Maybe you came back to try again later. But how do you bounce back after failing? Well, it might be easier than you think. In this episode, you'll discover one, the key points to consider after failing a goal, and two, the steps to getting back on track with language learning. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. First, the cooking conversation cheat sheet. Learn all the must-know cooking phrases with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. 
Second are brand new visual flashcards. Want to speak more of the language? You'll need to learn more words. And with our new printable visual flashcards, you'll learn over 1,500 words. Just download and print them out. Third, can you talk about your favorite shows? Learn how to say no spoilers. What are you watching right now? And other useful words and phrases for video on demand. Fourth, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say read more, save money, learn a language, and other common goals. Fifth, must know words and phrases for the new year. If you're learning the language and can't yet talk about the new year, then access this one minute vocabulary lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to get back on track after language learning failure. So, how do you get back on track with language learning after failing? Think back to your school days. Did you ever miss a homework assignment? Most of us did. You'd have to make it up and do the next one. You had to double up on your work. So if you've ever missed a goal, you might be tempted to do the same thing. Finish your old goal and achieve a new one. However, that might not be such a good idea. A key point to remember after failing a goal is don't set the same goal again. Let's explain why. One. If you've failed the goal before, there's a good chance that the goal might be too much for you. In that case, you want an easier goal. Two, you need to give yourself a chance to succeed. And if that requires setting a super easy goal that you actually can reach, then so be it, do that. For example, if you tried to learn 100 words in one month and failed, but you wanna try again, go for something smaller, like 20 words. Between trying and failing the 100-word goal again or reaching a smaller 20-word goal, you're much better off with the 20-word goal. It'll be better for your motivation to hit a super easy goal instead of failing multiple times in a row. It'll get you back in motion with language learning. Now that you know how to get back on track, here are some steps you can take. One, think back to the last language goal you set and failed. Was it last year's New Year's resolution? And was it something like, I just wanna be fluent, or I want to speak the language? You can let us know what your old goal was in the comments. Two, aim for a smaller, more realistic goal. With that last goal in mind, think about how you might make a new, easier goal. Remember, your goal should always be one, small, two, measurable, for example, one minute of conversation, 100 words, 10 grammar rules, 10 lessons, etc. And three, have a small time frame with a deadline. In other words, it's a goal for the week or for the month, and the deadline is January 31st, for example. So if your failed goal was to just speak fluently, aim for something smaller. Set a goal like, I wanna speak for one minute this month, or I wanna be able to introduce myself by the end of this week or I want to master the alphabet by the end of this week and schedule a deadline for yourself. All of these goals are small, measurable, specific, and easy to achieve. You'll easily know if you've reached one minute of speaking, if you've learned the alphabet, or learned how to say my name is in the language you're studying. So now that you have a goal, three, find a way to fit language learning into your life. Instead of creating new routines that you may have trouble sticking with, work with what you already have, your existing routines. If you already spend 10 minutes on chores in the morning, you can listen to a lesson and learn a bit of language. If you take a walk, you can listen to a lesson then. If you watch YouTube for an hour in the evening, you can spend five or 10 minutes watching one of our lessons. Piggybacking off of your existing daily routines is the easiest way to introduce language learning into your life. Okay, now let's talk about learning material. Four, get back on track with easy learning material. An easy way to restart learning is with our audio and video lessons. All you have to do is hit play and follow along. And if you have to, you can multitask. For example, as we mentioned, you can be doing chores and listening in. Taking steps like these can help you form study habits. It's a lot easier to listen and do what you usually do, as opposed to buying a textbook, setting aside time, sitting down, and trying to go through it, especially if you're not used to learning a language. Finally, another very easy thing you can do is take advantage of our word of the day lessons. These are daily emails that teach you one new word a day. The goal of these emails is to get you used to learning and create a simple routine. If you can stick with spending one quick minute every day learning a new word, then you can grow to stick with almost any other routine. 
So to recap, we often fail and give up on our goals because we overwhelm ourselves. Whether it's with an unrealistic goal, a heavy routine, or complicated resources, you want to do the opposite. Avoid overwhelming yourself. If you failed a goal before, aim for a smaller goal. Avoid heavy learning routines and piggyback off of your existing daily routines. If you take a walk, then use that time to listen to audio lessons. And finally, use easy learning material, such as our audio and video lessons on our website. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to adjust your routine and learn language from home. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. What if you could go from struggling to speak to speaking with confidence? Reviewing is a huge part of achieving this. In this video, you'll learn six ways our language learning program helps you review. Number one, replay your lessons. If you're using our language learning program, you can download lessons and review them at a later date. And since lessons are three to 15 minutes long, your preparation and review sessions won't take a lot of time. The easiest way to review is to simply replay past lessons. Of course, make sure you pay attention. Number two, read the lesson notes. Imagine you've finished reading a big book or watching a video course. Do you remember everything you've learned? Of course not. When you get a lot of information at one time, it's normal not to be able to recall all of it immediately. But you can refresh your memory by going back to reread, rewatch, and take notes. It takes effort. This is why you get lesson notes with every lesson. These notes give you the lesson in writing, so you can review the conversation, the vocabulary, grammar, and cultural points quickly. Number three, listen to lines from the lesson conversation with the dialogue tool. The dialogue tool is a premium feature that our users love because you get line by line breakdowns of conversations. For every line of the conversation, you get audio, the transcript, and the translations. This tool helps you master entire conversations, speak faster, and improve your listening. You can listen to each line one by one, read along, and repeat out loud. Repeating out loud will help your speaking skills. And because you can listen as much as you want, you can also use this tool to work on your listening skills. Number four, the vocabulary slideshow. With this, you can review words and phrases from a specific lesson. Just press play and watch the slideshow. For each word, you'll hear the native pronunciation. You'll also get the meaning, the text, and translations right there on the screen. You can even put the slideshow on loop to review as much as you want. Number five, Practice your speaking skills with the voice recorder. With the voice recorder tool, you can record yourself and compare your speech to that of native speakers. This can help you find out where you can improve your speaking skills. It's a great way to practice speaking and perfect your pronunciation. Number six, review conversations with the dialogue audio track. The dialogue track gives you just the conversation. It's purely the target language, no translations. You get it for every lesson. Listen to it again and again until you completely understand every single word. This is a great way to see how much you understand and it's a great language immersion tactic. Want to learn new words and phrases fast so you can speak and understand more of your target language? In this video, you'll learn all about spaced repetition flashcards. You'll learn about why this particular study tool is so useful and how using it can help keep vocabulary words fresh in your mind. First, here's what's new with our flashcards. You can now access your flashcards on any mobile device. They're mobile responsive. So visit the site on any device, iPhone, iPad, Android, or any tablet. Access the flashcards and learn anywhere, anytime. But what if you're a new language learner and have never seen this tool before? Second, what are spaced repetition flashcards? What are they? And how do spaced repetition flashcards teach you words and phrases better than regular flashcards? First, imagine a regular flashcard. Imagine a teacher is quizzing you with paper flashcards. On the front, you see the word in the target language. The meaning of the word is on the other side. Your teacher shows you the target language word and asks you what the word means. 
If you get the answer right, your teacher puts the card in a pile of correct answer cards. If you get the answer wrong, your teacher puts the card in a pile of wrong answer cards. Spaced repetition flashcards are like a digital version of this, but a computer sorts your answers into correct answers and wrong answers, and then chooses which cards to quiz you on accordingly. With a spaced repetition flashcard, you see a word. You mark whether you know it or not. You learn whether you are right or wrong. Then you get the next word. But what exactly is spaced repetition? Third, how spaced repetition works. This is the part of the tool that makes the flashcard so powerful. If you get a word wrong, you'll see that card more often until you get it right. The card will keep popping up until you remember the answer. Spaced repetition flashcards help you focus on the words you don't know yet, or the words you're weak with, instead of asking you to review words you already know well. If you get a word right, you'll see that word again in perhaps two days. If you get the word right again after waiting two days, you might see the word four days later, then 16 days later, and so on. As you study and remember words, the flashcards will appear less frequently. This is because you're remembering the vocabulary and don't need to spend time studying the words you already know. Spaced repetition flashcards help you study words at the right time. The flashcards will track your progress. This means you don't have to remember which words you got right or wrong. The flashcards you are quizzed on will be customized to your knowledge level every time you study. And the quizzes will also help you keep your memory fresh. Remember, we don't learn things simply by seeing them once. By repeating our studies over a period of time, we remember things better. And the best part is that you can study vocabulary and phrases in just a few minutes a day. So if you're on the train or bus going to work, you can put that time to use. Take out your phone and learn new words. Just a couple minutes every day will help you learn new words fast. A common question that first-time language learners ask is, where do I begin? Classically, the answer to this is with guidance. Finding the right teacher can be tricky, especially online. There are a lot of options to choose from. We've got one we'll tell you about. In this video, we'll show you how our Premium Plus learning option can provide you with guidance to help you reach your language learning goals. Our Premium Plus study tools are designed to support and guide learners. There's access to thousands of lessons, a voice recording tool, and spaced repetition flashcards. Most importantly, Premium Plus users get a personal language instructor who can provide weekly assignments. Let's talk about these items in detail. Number one, gain unlimited access to audio and video lessons. As a Premium Plus member, you'll have full access to the lesson library and other premium features. Best of all, you're not limited to one level, and you can learn to your heart's content with upper-level courses. There are lessons on various topics that tackle crucial language learning elements like reading, writing, listening, speaking, and conversation. More specifically, there are pathways. Pathways are collections of lessons that focus on a specific topic. Some pathways are even geared towards proficiency tests. There are also pathways in the lesson library to help you prepare for certain events, such as speaking at a restaurant, buying a ticket, or making friends. One of the most helpful is the top 25 questions you need to know pathway, which can help you in your everyday life. Each lesson has lesson notes to read while you listen to the audio lesson. This will help you follow along with key points. Lesson notes generally contain the dialogue, new vocabulary, the target grammar points, and cultural insights based on the dialogue. Podcasts and lesson notes are available on the Innovative Language app, so you can also learn on the go. Number two, practice speaking with the voice recording tool. Pronunciation is an important part of language learning. Proper pronunciation ensures understanding during conversations with native speakers. Many learners think speaking is one of the most challenging components of learning a language. To help with this, the voice recording tool is a great way to improve speaking skills. Lesson dialogues are spoken by native speakers, so you can record yourself repeating after them to practice speaking naturally. Your Premium Plus teacher can assign you tasks to help you progress with any new sounds you might be learning. For these assignments, your teacher can listen to your voice recordings of the sounds and help you learn how to pronounce them. Completing these tasks under the guidance of your teacher can help you boost your confidence in speaking. 
This feature is also available for vocabulary words and sample sentences. Being able to hear these recordings improves pronunciation skills, especially when incorrect intonation can change the meaning of a word entirely. The voice recorder examines your speed and tone. Don't forget to also follow up by sending a recording to your Premium Plus teacher for feedback. Number three, increase your vocabulary with spaced repetition flashcards and more. One of the best ways to learn vocabulary is with spaced repetition flashcards. Spaced repetition is a system designed for learning something new and reviewing it in varying time intervals. You can create and study flashcard decks, whether from your word bank or a specific vocabulary list. For example, if you need to visit a post office, the post office vocabulary list for your target language would be beneficial to study prior to your visit. Premium Plus offers various features to expand learners' vocabulary, including free gifts of the month, such as the 400 Everyday Phrases for Beginners eBook. Find opportunities to use them with your teachers, friends, or classmates. For even more practice, each lesson has a vocabulary slideshow and a quiz to review the lesson's vocabulary. There's also the 2000 core word list, which includes the most commonly used words in your target language. Starting from the 100 core word list, you'll gradually build up your knowledge of useful vocabulary. These lists can be studied with spaced repetition flashcards too. With the flashcards, you can change the settings to your liking. The settings range from different card types to number of new cards per deck. Give yourself vocabulary tests by changing the settings. After studying a number of flashcards, change the card types to listening comprehension. You can then test yourself by writing the translation of the word or the spoken word or phrase. Changing your settings allows you to remember vocabulary and learn how to identify the words. This can be especially helpful when learning to recognize new characters in certain languages. Number four, get your own personal language teacher. Your language teacher will work with you and your goals to create a personalized and achievable study path. Once you share a short-term or a long-term goal with your teacher, you can establish a plan or pathway to lead to success. Coordinate with your teacher regularly to ensure the personalized learning programs are still working for you. If not, you can always change it up. There are so many ways your Premium Plus teacher can help you. If you have a speech you need to write, they can help you come up with the right way to say what you want to say. If there's something you need help translating, your teacher can lend you a hand. Or if there is a specific movie or song you want to consume in your target language, your teacher can gear your lessons to help you achieve your goal. Being in planes, trains, and buses can be an uncomfortable experience for many people. Often there are small, cramped seats, not many things to do, and sometimes the experience is even scary. Despite this, you often see people working in these environments. How do they do it? In this video, you'll learn three tips to help you be able to study anywhere. The first one is adjust to your environment. Most of us would probably agree that a plane or a bus is not the best place to study. These environments are usually dark and cramped and you may have a crying baby next to you. But the point is, there's never a perfect time or place to learn. The reality is that a lot of us use transportation every day. We face environments that are typically considered unsuitable for study. Trains get crowded. You can't do much in your car. Even in your own home, you'll get distracted by the TV or Facebook or something. And some days you'll be sick. You'll be tired. You'll have dinner plans. Once you accept that there's rarely such a thing as the perfect time to study, you can start thinking about how to make the best of the environment you have at that time. For example, if you ride a train, you might stand up for a long time. It might be difficult to focus on a book. In a case like this, you can use the Innovative Language 101 app to study, listen to the audio lessons, or do the word of the day by email. There are ways that you can learn in just about any situation. The point is, you need to adjust your study method to your environment. So take a look at your day and see where your time goes. Are there any gaps in between your activities where you feel like you can't study? And is there any way you can adjust? Two, take advantage of your limited time. We've surveyed tons of learners over the years, and every year we find that the number one reason most people don't learn a language is they say they have no time. But there's a chance you may have some spare time to study. You might just not recognize it yet. Let's say you commute for 30 minutes every day. You can ask yourself, how do I put these next 30 minutes to use? 
Or if you finish work at 7 p.m. and spend an hour doing nothing, you can think about what you might do in that hour that will help you work towards your goals. You don't have to use all 30 minutes of your commute or the full hour of your free time, but you can definitely fit in a short lesson or take other steps towards your goals. Three, have an on and off mindset. When you work, it can be really helpful to have a kind of on-off switch for when it's time to work and time to rest. You can apply the same idea to your language studies. When it's time to study, you can focus solely on that. You don't spend time thinking about doing it, you just do it. It doesn't matter where you are or what kind of studying you're doing, as long as it gets done. And when you're done with a lesson, reward yourself. It can be as simple as telling yourself, great job. When you're finished with the time you promised yourself for studies, feel free to focus on the next thing. Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the going to the movies conversation cheat sheet. With this new cheat sheet, you'll learn to say phrases like, does this have subtitles? When does the movie start? And much more. Second, the how to talk about your feelings PDF ebook. You'll learn over 90 words and phrases for feelings with this bonus PDF picture ebook. Download and review it on any device. Third, 30 must know opposite adjectives. Learn how to say young and old, hot and cold, and much more. You'll pick up over 30 words with this vocab bonus. Fourth, can you talk about people's appearances? With this quick one minute lesson, you'll learn to describe others with words like tall, short, muscular, and much more. Fifth, Want the language learning app that actually gets you speaking? Download Innovative Language 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. You'll unlock hundreds of bite-sized audio and video lessons made by real teachers and start speaking in minutes. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get up to 45% off our six-month challenge sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Finnish listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Mies ja nainen puhuvat. Miksi mies oli myöhässä? Anteeksi, että olen myöhässä. Nukuitko taas liian pitkään? No ei. Heräsin tänään kuudelta. No miksi olit taas myöhässä? No, bussi ei tullut. Ai niinkö on? No kertoakseni sinulle totuuden. Bussi oli hieman myöhässä, mutta tein virheen ja jäin pois väärällä bussipysäkillä. Minun täytyi kävellä koko matka tänne saakka. Miksi mies oli myöhässä? Mies ja nainen puhuvat. Miksi mies oli myöhässä? Anteeksi, että olen myöhässä. Nukuitko taas liian pitkään? No ei. Heräsin tänään kuudelta. No miksi olit taas myöhässä? No, bussi ei tullut. Ai niinkö on? No, kertoakseni sinulle totuuden. Bussi oli hieman myöhässä, mutta tein virheen ja jäin pois väärällä bussipysäkillä. Minun täytyi kävellä koko matka tänne saakka. Did you get it right? 
I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Hey everyone, welcome to The Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the first step in your language learning journey that will guarantee your success. If you have trouble sticking with your language learning goals, it's probably because you're skipping one specific step. It's the step you need to take before you even start any learning. And doing it will help you stick with the language, not get overwhelmed and reach your language goals. So today you'll learn, one, what solo language learners need to succeed, and two, how to do self-assessment and set yourself up for success. But first, listen up. Here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Giving Directions Conversation Cheat Sheet. Do you know how to tell a taxi driver where to go in your target language? You'll be able to. With this PDF cheat sheet, you'll learn must-know words and phrases for giving directions. Second, the Most Common Verbs PDF eBook. You'll learn over 90 common verbs with this bonus PDF picture eBook. Download and review on any device. Third, how to talk about what you do in your free time. Learn how to say video games, fishing, and much more. You'll pick up over 25 words for leisure activities with this vocab bonus. Fourth, how to learn from home, learning strategies. Want to learn the language from the comfort of your home? This one minute lesson will give you all the best tactics for learning languages. Fifth, the top 35 adjectives for personalities. Can you describe your personality? This next bonus teaches you the 35 must-know adjectives for personalities, so you can talk about yourself in your target language. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The first step in your language learning journey that will guarantee your success. Here's a question for you. When you want to learn a language, how do you usually get started with that goal? You might say the inspiration comes first and that motivates you to start. Then you get a textbook or an app and go from there, right? That's a pretty standard answer, but how does that tend to work out? Most people end up falling off a week or a month later. Why do you think that happens? Leave a comment with why you think people tend to lose inspiration quickly. More often than not, it happens because you pick a goal, a learning routine, or a resource that overwhelms you and just isn't right for you. Here's a typical example. Let's say you work an eight-hour day and you want to try to start learning. Most people would try to squeeze in learning for one or two hours at night, or you could try and wake up an hour early. And usually that doesn't work out because you're trying to do things that you're not used to. Wake up earlier and study earlier. It doesn't fit your current lifestyle. So what should you do differently? Well, let's take an example from language schools. Before you start learning, language schools force you to take an assessment test on the first day. Why? So that they make sure the language lessons fit your level and put you in the proper class. The goal of an assessment test is to find out where you are and meet you there. That's something most solo learners don't do. And the problem is if you're a solo learner, no one assesses you and you yourself don't know what routine works best for you, how much time you can set aside, and how much studying you can comfortably do. We all imagine we can do an hour a day, but realistically speaking, it'll be a lot less than that. So that's where self-assessment comes in. Before you start learning a language, or do any goal for that matter, it's important to know where you are in life, what your daily schedule is like, when you're busy and when you're free. So you can set your expectations, know how much time you can put in, and so you can start learning at a pace that works for you. Now, how do you actually assess yourself? There are three assessments you can do. One, a life assessment. Two, a routine assessment. And three, language assessment. Language assessment will only be helpful if you already have some experience. If you're brand new, you won't need this. First, life assessment. Here, the goal is to see how the language will fit into your life and how you generally deal with goals. As in, if you succeeded with a goal before, what helped you succeed? You could take that and apply it here. If you failed before, find out why so you can avoid it this time. So you'll need to answer the following questions. 
Why are you learning this language? How will it help your life? What current connections do you have to this language? For example, listening to music, watching TV, you have a relative, you have neighbors or friends that speak it. What have you been doing so far to learn? Have you learned languages before? Have you failed any goals before? How or why? Have you succeeded with any goals before? How or why? Write these questions out and answer them. Next, the routine assessment. Write out your daily routine for a whole week. For example, wake up at 7 a.m., breakfast at 8 a.m., commute to work at 8.30 a.m., arrive at work at 9.30 a.m., lunch at 1 p.m., and so on. Do this for every day of the week. The goal here is to see what your daily routine is like so you know when you're free, when you're busy, and where you can fit in language learning. That way, if you're super busy on Mondays and five minutes is all you can do, then that's good enough. You won't feel bad about doing only five minutes. If you see that you spend 30 minutes on commuting, add language learning on top of that existing routine. If you take walks or go for a jog, play an audio lesson there. Or even if you're cooking at a certain time, play an audio lesson in the background. Remember, look for an existing routine that you already stick with, like commuting, and where you can multitask. Don't try to create new routines. For example, waking up at 7 a.m. to learn will set you up for failure. If you usually wake up at 8 a.m., waking up at 7 a.m. will be even harder. And then, actually trying to learn a language at 7 a.m. makes it even harder. This is where new learners start having trouble. You're trying to do two things at once, trying to learn the language and trying to stick to a new routine. One is hard enough. Trying to do two can overwhelm you. So piggyback off of your existing routines first so you can build momentum. And finally, there's language assessment. If you're an absolute beginner, you won't need much of an assessment. Just start with our absolute beginner recommended learning pathway. But if you have experience and want to assess yourself, there are two things you can do. First, if you're a Premium Plus user, then you're asked to do an assessment test when you join, but you can always request it again from your teacher. And second, if you're a Premium user, check our recommended pathways. We assign these pathways, level one to level five, based on your learning level, from absolute beginner to advanced. At the start of each pathway, there's a diagnostic test. You can take that to assess yourself. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about when routines grow stale, how to learn more language with a new routine. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. What are some surefire ways to stay motivated when you're learning a language? In this video, we're going to talk about 10 surefire ways to stay motivated and stay on track. All right, we asked our Premium and Premium Plus members for their tested techniques. You'll find out what worked for them. Number one, you must see your progress. In other words, you have to see it to believe it. There's nothing better than seeing your results firsthand. It's like seeing muscles in the mirror after working out. How do you do this with language? In order to see it, you have to start measuring it first. And you can do that with the dashboard on our website. With the dashboard, you can see how many lessons and how much of the language you've mastered so far. So review the progress you've made with the dashboard on the site. Number two, use the Daily Dose of Language app. With this, you get free daily mini lessons, but that's not all. This app keeps you on track because it actually sends you daily reminders. If you need that extra push or reminder, this app does it for you. And the daily dose lessons are quick and easy. They take just one minute of your time. Number three, learn with somebody better than you. A tutor, a friend, and you can even learn with your own teacher with a Premium Plus subscription. Simply having someone better than you by your side is enough to help you improve and motivate you. It's like having a coach. Number four, set a small, measurable goal. For example, finish 10 lessons in one week, or learn 20 words in a week. Most people give up because they have a vague goal, like I wanna be fluent, that they don't know how to reach. But if you aim small and make it measurable, you'll have a much better chance of reaching it. Your goal is to learn 20 words, and you know 17 already. 
Because you know how close you are, you're more motivated to close the gap and reach your goal. Number five, watch movies and shows in your target language. First of all, we recommend this because it's fun. But more importantly, when you understand what you hear, it's a clear sign of progress and you'll feel good about it. Number six, listen to music in your target language. Music is enjoyable, and if you make it part of your routine, you're giving yourself a nice break in between lessons. But you're still immersing yourself in the language. So if you enjoy this routine, you're more likely to stay motivated. Number seven, do the lessons that you enjoy. Just like with music, if you enjoy our audio and video lessons, then stick with them. If you have any favorite lessons, remember you can always download them to your device and review them as much as you want. They're yours to keep. Number eight, understand that language learning is a marathon. Learning a new language is not a sprint. Most people think they can study for hours and suddenly get better. But when they realize that it takes time, this can hurt their motivation. So understand that it's a marathon. Remember that it's better to study for a few minutes every day than pulling a five hour cram session that will burn you out. Number nine, keep the big goal in mind. Imagine yourself being fluent. Small, measurable goals are definitely important, but when you just don't feel like learning, which is completely natural, by the way, remember the big goal. Having the big picture in mind will remind you of what's important and put you back on track. Number 10, invest in the language. Make a commitment. Whether you buy a book or a subscription, enroll in a class, or join a study group, by investing and making a commitment, you're much more likely to go through with it. You've paid for it, so you value it more. You want to make sure you get your money's worth. Plus, other people expect you to show up. This can be extremely helpful when working towards your language goals. And that's it. There are so many ways to keep yourself motivated. Do you have a favorite way? Leave us a comment and let us know. So to make sure you stay motivated in your studies, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Want to speak and understand more of your target language? You'll need to know more words and phrases to really make new conversations and ultimately connections. In this video, you'll discover six ways to master new words and phrases fast. Number one, use our free vocabulary list. Here's what makes this study tool so powerful. This is your free library of vocab and phrase lessons. You can learn words and phrases for current events like Halloween or New Year's. There are also many useful topics like the top 10 ways to say hello, conversational phrases, and more. In other words, you learn phrases that you wouldn't normally find in textbooks. And if you want to learn extra fast, you can use the slideshow tool. Just tap on or click on view slideshow, then sit back and review the words and phrases. Find the vocabulary lists in the vocabulary drop-down menu on the site. And yes, these vocab lists are free for all users. Number two, take the audio and video lessons. One of the best ways to learn new words is through conversations. You get to hear how the words are used. So in every lesson dialogue, you'll come across some words you don't know. But don't worry, because our teachers translate everything. So when you hear the conversation again at the end of the lesson, you'll know them all. Number three, learn with our 2,000 most common words list. Here's a question for you. How many words do you think you need for conversational fluency? 3,000, 5,000? Actually, language experts say you need only about 1,500 to reach conversational fluency. And with this study tool, the 2,000 most common words list, you get the words you need for conversational fluency right up front. That's what makes this study tool so powerful. It's all here for you. And they're broken down into simple categories, such as adjectives, nouns, verbs, food, drinks, numbers, and months. Now, 2000 is quite a lot to learn. Do you have to learn it all? Well, you don't have to learn it all at once. You can go category by category. You can also start with the top 100 words, then move on to the top 200, 300, and so on, until you get to 2000. So if you're an absolute beginner, you can start with the top 100 words. Once you've mastered those, you can move on to the next category. You can also use other study tools to learn these words faster, right? Such as number four, study with spaced repetition flashcards. 
Now, we're not talking about paper flashcards. We're talking about the smart flashcards that you can find in our premium study tools. Picture this. Think of these as a teacher inside of your computer who quizzes you and sorts the words for you. So words that you struggle with, you'll be quizzed on more and more, and words that you know, you'll see less and less. So they display the words as needed, so you never forget them. In every session, they'll refresh your memory on the words you learned last time and introduce new ones. That's exactly how our smart flashcards work. And because you get drilled on the words you struggle with, you have no choice but to master them and improve. You have no choice but to succeed. You can also study the words from your lessons and vocab lists with the very same flashcard tool. Number five, create printable word lists with the word bank. The word bank is a study tool that lets you save words and phrases from lessons and vocab lists. Think of it as your extended brain. If you come across a new word that you want to review later, you can save it to the word bank. But the word bank also lets you print out your word lists. So click on the printer friendly option inside word bank and print out your collection of words. You can use that sheet for writing practice. Number six, use the words. After you learn a new word, using it right away is crucial to remembering it. So when you're done with a lesson or a vocab list, leave a comment. Make up a sample sentence and post it in the comment section. Write it down in a notebook or shadow it, meaning listen to the audio pronunciation and say it out loud. You should do this because it's the actual practice that gets you to remember it. So say it, write it, listen to it again. Doing this will help lock the words into your memory. So if you want to take advantage of any of these tools for yourself, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Are you studying a language but starting to lose motivation? In this video, we're going to talk about the halfway point and how to keep going with language learning. After six months to a year of studying a language, you might be feeling like you're losing a little bit of steam. Maybe you started out strong and now you're feeling a bit low. Maybe you aren't seeing the results you wanted or you think your efforts aren't paying off. But the reason for that might not have anything to do with your studies. It might be more an issue about your reviewing and your goal setting. One, why you should review your past language goals. When you set goals, do you ever go back to review your progress? It can be a reminder of how far you've come and help you keep your motivation up. Let's say you started learning a language and you've been at it for a few months. In month one, you're excited and motivated. In month two, you're still going at it, but maybe the motivation is not as strong and you wanna make sure that you don't fall off, unfortunately, as most people do. So you work hard to keep at it. By month three, you're kind of on autopilot and learning with whatever has been working for you. That sounds like a good place to be, cruising on autopilot. Well, it may seem like a good place to be, but the problem is by month four, five, or six, if you've been coasting along for too long and haven't had any significant improvements, you may start wondering if you're actually learning or if you'll ever master the language. You might start losing motivation, and worse, you might even quit. If you're learning by yourself, it's hard, and if you're not tracking your progress, by month four or five, you might realize that the textbook you've been using isn't helping you increase your fluency. You might think you're going nowhere. So the reason to review is to check your progress. Maybe you can speak none of your target language in month one, but at the end of month three, you can speak three minutes. So that's some progress. And if you're at eight minutes now, for example, then you can definitely say that you've improved since the start. It's good for motivation, just knowing that you got a return on your time investment. So reviewing is good for progress and motivation. Also, it's natural to lose motivation with anything you're trying to learn or do. So it's something you need to keep up, something you need to keep in mind. What do you do when your motivation dips? You can stop, take some time to review and reflect. Is your motivation dipping? Are you studying less? Do you feel like you're not making progress? And if you say yes to these questions, then you can work on boosting your motivation to help you keep going. How do you boost your motivation? Well, do you remember anchor points? Anchor points are things that connect you or anchor you to your goal, such as a language class or a program. It could even be relatives or friends who speak the language, TV shows in that language you like, or an upcoming trip to the target country. All of these things, in one way or another, keep you anchored to your language learning goal. 
So if you're watching a TV show in your target language, then it's natural for you to want to understand it better, and your desire to learn goes up. If you're taking language classes where a teacher expects homework from you, that's another connection to the language. So you do the homework, you attend classes, you learn more. Ultimately, if you want to boost your motivation and keep going, you should get more anchor points. But how do you do that? Let's jump into the second part. Two, how to review your progress and maintain motivation. How do you review your progress? First, you always set small, measurable goals and always track results. The study resource you're using can be used for your review as well. It's easy to get demotivated and think that you've learned nothing. But if you're using a textbook, for example, you can set a number of pages and that can be a really good motivator, something to reach for. Making sure you're getting through and then testing yourself on material is a little harder if you're not actually using your textbook though, so make sure that you actually stick to the plan you set for yourself. Again, the tool you're using is not so important, but just make sure whatever you use, you measure it and track your progress. Reviewing is as simple as looking at your past goals and results. You can also do it the old school way and look through your notebooks, see how much you've written out. In fact, we have something called the Dean's Date with our Premium Plus plan, where our Premium Plus users send in all of the work they've completed with their teacher. The writings, the recordings, the assignments, and you can see it all, everything that you've done. Then you can see your actual results of your three months of work. Everything you've accomplished is in one place. Do you ever run out of motivation? Of course you do occasionally, and it's natural for everyone's motivation to dip after some time. Then if you lose motivation, how do you keep going? Just as we talked about earlier, add more anchor points, more connections to the language, whether that means enrolling in in-person classes at a real language school, planning trips, or signing up for a test. Those anchor points help you stay motivated. Your main ones need to be things that will keep you interested in your target language or the people in your life connected to it. These are the things that will keep you motivated. But it's also important to remember, whether you're struggling or you're progressing rapidly, that you have to keep your learning adaptive. As humans, we are adaptive. We adapt to environments, and this is the same thing. Your language learning path has to adapt as you progress. If you're progressing faster, there's a way to adapt. If you're progressing slower, there's also a way to adapt. Three, how you can keep going past the halfway point. If you've been studying the language for a few months, it's normal to start losing steam. If you're not losing steam and you're progressing, then great job, and maybe you can share some of your tips with us because it's one of the hardest things ever to stay motivated long term. If you are starting to lose steam, remember that this happens with any goal. It can happen to anyone at any time, so you need to learn how to adapt to it. By being aware that these dips are natural and that they happen, you can expect them. So when one does come around, you'll know how to boost your motivation and know how to keep yourself going. Here's what you do when a dip does come around. One, review your learning progress. If you've been setting small, measurable goals every month, then this won't be a problem. The goal here is to see how far you've come, and this will help you maintain motivation. If you can see that you learned 50 words in January, 50 in February, 100 in March, and so on, then you have measurable progress, and this lets you know that you're improving, even when you don't feel like you are. Second, if you're a Premium Plus student, you can also participate in the Dean's Date and submit your work on the deadline. Be sure to ask your Premium Plus teacher about it. Third, if you're a Premium or Premium Plus user, you can also check your dashboard and see how many flashcards you've studied and how many lessons you've completed. We track your progress for you. But of course, it's best to set goals like learn 50 words or speak one minute of conversation because completing a lesson may not mean that you've mastered everything inside. So if you've not been setting goals and tracking them, now is the time to start. Otherwise, do you know how much of the language you can speak? Or how many words you've learned? If you don't know, then you'll feel like you're floating around and not learning anything. So be sure to set small, measurable monthly goals. Fourth, create more anchor points to boost your motivation. Anchor points are connections to the language that keep you anchored to the language and your goal. It could be friends or relatives who speak the language, TV shows in that language you like, an upcoming trip to the target country, language classes, or language programs. All of these things, in one way or another, keep you anchored to your language learning goal. So if you started learning a language because your relative speaks it, that motivation may not last forever. It may help you in month one or month two, but by month four, five, or six, your motivation might wear off. 
but you can decide to enroll in a class or start watching a TV show in that language. That will give you some new reasons to keep going to the language. In a way, you give yourself more reasons to learn. A lot of the time, the reasons why we start something are not often the reasons why we continue them. So don't be afraid to adjust your motivations as you go along. If you've reached a language milestone and are starting to feel a little less motivated, just take a look at these tips. Thorough review, setting anchor points, and reviewing your study methods will all help you keep going in your studies. For more strategies on how to keep studying, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Want to learn your target language for free? Then get our language gifts of the month right now, before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Getting Sick Conversation Cheat Sheet. Are you able to describe your symptoms in your target language? If not, download our new conversation sheet and learn must-know words and phrases for the doctor. Second, the Language Learning Starter Pack PDF eBook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this eBook, you'll get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Start with these words first. Download it right now. Third, can you talk about economics in your target language? Learn how to say profit, demand, taxes, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, 30 must-know opposite nouns. Learn how to say day and night, question and answer, and much more. You'll pick up over 30 words with this vocab bonus. Fifth, free audiobooks for our members only. If you're not a member yet, sign up for a free lifetime account and unlock our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to your device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 35% off premium or premium plus with the power up sale. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the lesson description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to Conversational Phrases. We've found that the best way to learn a language is to speak it from day one. And the best way to start speaking is to learn phrases that you'll use in real conversations. In this lesson, you'll learn conversational phrases to use when talking on the phone. After watching this video, you'll be able to ask for someone on the phone and to put someone on hold. And if you want to learn more vocabulary, phrases, and example sentences you can use in real life situations, click the link in the description to download your Making a Phone Call PDF cheat sheet for free. Now, let's take a look at some conversational phrases. Listen to the dialogue. Hei, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Once more with the English translation. Hey, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Okay, just a moment. First of all, you'll need to learn how to say hello on the phone. That's... Hey, hey. Then, you'll need to learn how to say... I'd like to speak with person. The pattern is Haluaisin puhua person kanssa. This Finnish sentence literally translates as I'd want to speak persons with, but it means I'd like to speak with person. For example, hello, I'd like to speak with the person in charge. Hei, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Hey, haluaisin puhua vastuuhenkilön kanssa. Now, how do you answer this question? Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Okay, just a moment. Listen to it again. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. Selvä, odottakaa hetki. This Finnish sentence literally translates as, okay, wait for a moment, but it means, okay, just a moment.
Here are a few more phrases you can use with the same pattern to talk on the phone. The person in charge. Vastuuhenkilö. Vastuuhenkilö. A sales representative. Myyntiedustaja. Myyntiedustaja. The manager. Johtaja. Johtaja. Customer service. Asiakaspalvelu. Asiakaspalvelu. Let's look at some examples. Listen and repeat or speak along with the native speakers. Haluaisin puhua myyntiedustajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Haluaisin puhua johtajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Haluaisin puhua asiakaspalvelun kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Okay, now it's your turn. Do you remember how to say, I'd like to speak with, person? Haluaisin puhua person kanssa. And how do you answer it? Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Imagine you want to talk to a sales representative. Do you remember how to say a sales representative? Myyntiedustaja. Myyntiedustaja. Say, I'd like to speak with a sales representative. Haluaisin puhua myyntiedustajan kanssa. Now say you want to talk to a sales representative and answer it. Haluaisin puhua myyntiedustajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Now, imagine you want to talk to the manager. Do you remember how to say the manager? Johtaja. Johtaja. Say, I'd like to speak with the manager. Haluaisin puhua johtajan kanssa. Now say you want to talk to the manager and answer it. Haluaisin puhua johtajan kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Now imagine you want to talk to customer service. Do you remember how to say customer service? Asiakaspalvelu. Asiakaspalvelu. Say, I'd like to speak with customer service. Haluaisin puhua asiakaspalvelun kanssa. Now say you want to talk to customer service and answer it. Haluaisin puhua asiakaspalvelun kanssa. Selvä. Odottakaa hetki. Hey everyone, welcome to the monthly review, the monthly show on language learning. Where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is the power of textbooks and digital detox. In this digital age where we're all using apps and smartphones to learn languages, you might not think of a textbook as the first resource to turn to, right? But if you're avoiding textbooks, then you're missing out on some powerful language learning benefits. So today you'll learn why textbooks are still a powerful resource in the digital age, why some, but not all, digital resources might hurt your ability to learn, and how to do a digital detox and learn off screen with our program. 
and we're giving away a brand new conversation cheat sheet, so keep watching. But first, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Getting Sick Conversation Cheat Sheet. Are you able to describe your symptoms in your target language? If not, download our new conversation sheet and learn must-know words and phrases for the doctor. Second, the Language Learning Starter Pack PDF eBook. If you're new to the language, do you know what words to learn first? With this eBook, you'll get over 70 basic words and phrases that beginners need to know. Start with these words first. Download it right now. Third, can you talk about economics in your target language? Learn how to say profit, demand, taxes, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. Fourth, 30 must know opposite nouns. Learn how to say day and night, question and answer, and much more. You'll pick up more than 30 words with this vocab bonus. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. The power of textbooks and digital detox. You probably have some language learning apps on your phone, right? But do you have any textbooks? Let us know in the comments section. Digital resources like apps and physical resources like books have their pros and cons. But if you're learning with digital resources only, you might be missing out on some benefits that come with physical resources. What are they? First, a digital detox. This is a basic one. A textbook gives you a break from the screen. You're not sitting in front of so much blue light all day, which can have an impact on your sleep. That's just for your overall health. Second, the ability to focus and improve your focus. Here's a question for you. How long is your attention span? Five minutes, 10 minutes? The thing is, attention and the ability to focus are crucial for learning and succeeding with any goal in life. But if you're learning on a device, you'll get pop-ups and notifications. If you're on YouTube, well, the algorithm will have you watching cat videos soon enough. These things are designed to keep you jumping from one thing to the next, and all of this hurts your attention span and your ability to learn. With a book, it's much easier to focus, and consistently learning with one can help improve your focus. Third, if the book has a really good story to follow, it makes it more fun to learn. This may not be something you can find in every textbook, but you can find it in textbook resources like bilingual storybooks. Fourth, you get a clear path to follow. Textbooks give you a linear path from page one to 100. You know where to go next, how far you are from the end, and what you have left to learn. With an app, you'll be forever swiping and not really knowing if you're getting anywhere. Fifth, textbooks have gone through academic rigor, meaning they've been made by teachers or checked by teachers. So you're learning the correct forms, the correct language, and you can rely on it to be accurate. If you Google for blogs about phrases to learn, there's a chance the information is not completely accurate. Sixth, textbook lessons are curated and organized so that what you learn on page one helps you understand page two and so on. It builds you up and teaches you crucial language skills that beginners need to know, like how to introduce yourself first, then how to grow that conversation. As an added bonus, you can write in them. What about the downsides of textbooks? There are a few. The content gets old fast. Language always changes. There's new slang. So that's where digital lessons do well. Also, books can get boring and overwhelming. An approach you can consider for a textbook is to put in a certain amount of time, say 20 or 30 minutes a day, and then walk away so you're not overwhelmed. But by providing a digital detox, allowing us a framework for focus, offering reduced distractions, being easy to follow and accurate, textbooks are powerful in a digital world. So, should you go for digital detox and get a textbook? If you can handle a bit of change to your routine, then why not? If you're worried about learning the same thing from two sources, don't worry. Learning something like a grammar rule from multiple angles will only help you understand it better and reinforce your memory. A book will give you a clear direction of where to go, what to learn, and challenge your mind in ways that digital lessons might not. So, how do you do a digital detox and learn with our program? First, you can print out our extensive reading books. Extensive reading is a learning tactic where you read books that are appropriate for your level, and the goal is quantity over quality. You should read a lot and skip over the words you don't know. 
To access these, just visit the lesson library to find our extensive reading books. Second, download our PDF lesson notes and print them out. The lesson notes give you the lesson in writing, the dialogue, the vocab, grammar explanations, sample sentences, and cultural insights. Find the lesson notes in every one of your lessons. Third, use our printable visual flashcards. With these, you'll learn over 1,500 of the most common words. If you want the link to the visual flashcards, just leave a comment and we'll reply with it. Fourth, you can also use our printable conversation cheat sheets. With these, you'll learn words and phrases for the most common conversation topics. If you want the link to our collection of cheat sheets, again, leave a comment and we'll reply with it. Remember, the ultimate goal here is to go for a digital detox, challenge your brain in a new way, and try new resources. So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to start conversations, talking points for language learners. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Have you ever started learning a language but just couldn't continue? Why does this happen? And what do successful language learners do differently? In this video, we're going to talk about why you should put your language learning on autopilot. We asked you, and the number one reason people don't continue is time. Either you don't make the time for learning or you're just too busy. But a lot of the time, this is caused by the resources you're using. If you've downloaded five language apps and bought two books, you'll get overwhelmed about where to start and what to do next. So what do successful language learners do? Successful learners don't overwhelm themselves, thinking, what should I do today? They put their learning on autopilot. Imagine this. Let's say you have a favorite TV show. A new episode comes out every Tuesday. So you know what you're doing on Tuesday night. You don't have to think about it. You don't need a reminder. It's automatic. Every Tuesday, you watch an episode. You make it into a habit. Now, how do we apply that to language learning? First, habits. If you have a habit of learning, then you're already on autopilot. So, set a small, measurable, monthly goal with a deadline, like learn 100 words or do 30 lessons by the end of the month. Once you know your goal, you can backtrack. So, for example, divide 100 words by 30 days in a month, and you get 3.33. So you should learn about three words a day. Now you know what to do. Three words a day. There's no confusion. Do those three words and you're done. You don't need to think about what you should be doing because you already know what you're doing. It becomes a habit. The second way to stay on autopilot is with language textbooks. This is basically just because books are sequential. You just follow the pages from one until the end. You don't have to think about where to go next, so it's easy to stay on track with what you need to do. Third, the word of the day. Every day, you get a new word in your email inbox automatically. You don't have to think about it. Simply check your email, learn a word, and you're done. The fourth way is with our progress tracking tools. They spoon feed you lessons one by one. So let's say you finished lesson one where you learned greetings, then you automatically load up lesson two where you learn a basic conversation that uses the greetings you learned in lesson one. Then you have lesson three and four and so on. You don't have to worry about what to do next because our dashboard will keep you on track. It'll even build upon what you learned in your previous lesson so you won't forget it. The point is to put your learning on autopilot. You need something that guides you from A to B to C whether it's your own habits or a book that takes you from one to 100 or a learning program that feeds you lessons. So take one of these tips and apply it today. So to put your learning on autopilot, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share this video with anyone who's trying to learn a language and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Are you focused on active language learning or passive language learning? And which is the best way to learn? In this video, you'll learn the difference between active and passive learning and some methods for each. Do you know the difference between active and passive learning? You'll find out the differences between these two. First, 
The difference between active and passive learning. Here's the difference. Active learning means you're actively engaging with learning material and focusing on it. For example, you're reading in your target language, you're looking up words, you're translating, you're memorizing phrases, or you're speaking out loud. So you're focused on what you're learning and you're really into it. Now, passive learning is different. It requires less concentration. It's usually done when you're doing something else. For example, doing chores, driving to work, or taking the train. You could be listening to an audio lesson or watching a video lesson. But the difference is you're not focused on picking apart every word. You're just passively taking the language in. What about you? How do you usually learn? Do you have a lot of active practice? A lot of passive practice? Do you have a combination? Let us know in the comments. Second, how you can learn both ways with our lessons. If you do a lot of passive learning, say because you're always on the go, then here are four simple tactics you can apply right now. One, press play on a lesson and just listen or watch, just like you would with YouTube. So if you're at home with your computer on, press play on a lesson and take it in. Two, now, if you're outside, if you're going to the store or commuting, you can learn with our free Innovative Language 101 app for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. Again, open a lesson, press play, and that's it. If you want to passively review words and phrases, then check out the vocabulary slideshow tool. This premium study tool is available on every lesson and vocab list. Just press play, and with every slide, you'll get the word, the audio pronunciation, the translation, and sample sentences. You can even put the slideshow on loop and immerse yourself that way. And third, if you have an Amazon Echo device, then you can immerse yourself with daily audio lessons, or you can learn with the quick word of the day. You can just play a lesson and keep it in the background while you're at home. Just look for Daily Dose by Innovative Language on the Amazon Skill Store and download it for free. Now, if you're looking for some active learning practice and you have some time to concentrate, here are five tactics you can use right now. Number one, listen or watch a lesson and read along with the translations. You'll get complete translations in the lesson notes and the line-by-line -line dialogue. This will make your reading and listening skills skyrocket. The best part is you'll understand every single word. The translations are right in front of you. Number two, repeat the lesson dialogue as you hear it. This is called shadowing and it will boost your speaking skills. Just repeat the lines that you hear until you can speak with confidence. To make it even easier, you can also get the lines in the dialogue study tool and in the lesson notes so you can read them out loud as you hear them in the lesson. Number three, record yourself with our voice recorder in the dialogue study tool to perfect your pronunciation and see how close you are to a native speaker. Number four, if you want to boost your vocabulary, study words with our smart flashcards. They sort the words for you, so you get the harder words more often until you master them. And the easy ones show up now and then to refresh your memory. And number five, ask questions and practice. Leave a comment in the comment section. If you're a Premium Plus user, you get your very own teacher, and you can ask them to review and correct your writing and speaking. You can also ask for learning advice and get all of your questions answered. Both are great ways to learn, but which one is best? Well, that depends on you. If you have some quiet time to focus, active learning is best. But if you're on the train and you're multitasking, then passive learning is the better option. Whichever you choose, you can apply both with our language learning program. So to test out active and passive learning, just check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye! Every language learner wants to speak with confidence, without struggling, and without stopping to think of words. So how do you do this? In this video, you'll learn five tactics to perfect your speaking. Above all, every learner wants to speak in their target language with confidence. We've run survey after survey, year after year, and the results are the same. Listening, reading, and writing are all important, but people want to improve their speaking the most. So how do you perfect your speaking skills? First, shadow the dialogues you hear in the lessons. What is shadowing? It's a learning technique where you mimic native speakers. In other words, you listen and then you repeat what they say. 
this is a fast and easy way to start practicing speaking. You can do this with any one of our audio or video lessons. And even easier, if you have access to the dialogue section, you can read along out loud as you listen. So shadow as much as possible to perfect your speaking and try harder lessons to take yourself to the next level. Second, read the dialogue out loud. We just mentioned this in tip one, but this tactic deserves its own special mention. Reading out loud is another easy way to practice your speaking. Simply read the lesson dialogue that's available in the dialogue section, the lesson notes, or the lesson transcript. By reading out loud, you're practicing your speaking skills. And here's a trick. If you can get yourself to read faster, you'll be able to speak faster too. Natives tend to speak quickly, and if you can too, that's a sign that you're improving. Third, record yourself speaking to perfect your pronunciation. If you're a Premium or Premium Plus member, look for the voice recorder in the dialogue section. With this tool, you can record yourself and compare your speaking to a native speaker. This is powerful because you instantly hear the difference between your speech and the authentic native pronunciation. And then you can easily perfect your speaking and pronunciation. If you don't have a premium account, record yourself with your smartphone. And while you can't really compare, you can spot where you struggle or stutter. This tactic is used by professional speakers, public speakers, just about anyone that has to give a presentation. Fourth, if you're a Premium Plus member, record yourself and send it to your Premium Plus teacher for feedback. Here, you're getting instant feedback from a native speaker. They'll point out your mistakes, they'll tell you what to improve and how, and record themselves and work with you until you reach perfection. That's the power of having a native speaker give you feedback. So what do people usually record? Here's an easy one. Record a one paragraph self intro. In fact, we ask all of our new members to do this. Give your name, your age, where you're from, why you're learning, and that's it. It's a great way to get started. Our more advanced students talk about their day. They send three recordings, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. For example, I woke up at 7 a.m. and brushed my teeth. I got ready for work. My train was a little late, and so on. This can dramatically improve your speaking because you're practicing conversations that people have all the time. The fifth way to perfect your speaking, Premium Plus Assignments. With this feature, you get weekly assignments based on your needs and goals, whether they're reading, writing, listening, or speaking. If you want to improve your speaking, your Premium Plus teacher will send you speaking assignments nonstop, every week, and provide you with constant feedback. This is all part of your personalized learning experience. So take advantage of our tools and put these tactics to use. And remember, if you want to master your language with our complete language learning program, now's your chance. So to test out these tips and start speaking now, check out our complete language learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Get tons of resources to have you speaking in your target language. And if you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and eBooks for free. Just click the link in the description.